is that in order to make the transition from getting out of the tried and true egg growing, which we know gives us results that can be you know, beneficial, I mean, we've done well with that, to something that has to be much better. Uh, you have to prove that this works, and then you've got to go through all of the clinical trials, phase ones, phase twos, phase three, and then show that this particular product is going to be good over a period of years. That alone, if it works perfectly, is going to take a decade. Well, I'm not a representative of industry, but I'll pretend I'm one. I make a flu vaccine every year, and it sells, and it protects right. people to the degree right. that we so can expect. you have expect. no incentive. Right. Why the hell would I go spend $400 million right. to do this thing, which may be great, and then if it's right. really great, you give it once or twice or right. five times. And, uh, and that's where the federal government comes in. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no, with, seriously. with all your money. Yeah. No, seriously. What happens is, in fact, you bring up an excellent point. Our responsibility to the public health and not the profit line has to be able to push the process to the point where industry will find it to their benefit to do that. I think if you're going to sit back and wait for a company that's been growing virus and eggs for the last 30 years to spontaneously change without any incentive, without any de-risking, it's just not going to happen.